welcome to first of june's quarry blessing supreme father says may you remain constantly happy so this blessing is teaching us how to remain constantly happy and be all all questions by remaining free from all limited desires so if you have limited desires we'll have a lot of questions why when what how and to remain constantly happy will be difficult so god says the children who remain free from limited desires have a sparkle of happiness visible on their faces on the contrary those children who remain full of limited desires worldly desires the sparkle of happiness is not visible on their face those who are happy never have any questions in their hearts because they are happy with whatsoever the lord father god father is providing them they are always altruistic and always experience everyone to be blameless they are ready to give others rather than expecting from others and if somebody tries to stop certain progress of theirs in the physical world they don't blame them they don't get angry they don't throw tantrums they would not blame others for anything for anything not something but for anything they won't blame no matter what situation arises situations can arise from things from five elements things around us can get bad can get old can break from our physical body also whether it is a soul who keeps coming in front of you to settle your karmic accounts that means somebody comes over and tries to blame you tries to complain about you tries to back bad mouth you tries to backstab you whatsoever words you want to use no matter what situation arises whether it is a soul who keeps coming in front of you to settle your karmic accounts or the suffering of karma of your body physical body that continues to come in front of you it's not that it's just come once but it keeps on coming in front of you it is because of your contentment that you remain constantly happy content with we don't have worldly desires we had one desire to achieve and to know the creator and we have done it and that's more than enough so the journey is separate it's not a worldly journey it's a spiritual journey om shanti